Here's the DIY WIO demo board or module. It uses the WIO Raspberry Pi Pico W microcontroller. And then it's made up of two Darlington transistor arrays, two SOP 18 breakout boards, two uh, perf boards, eight two pin connectors, one JST connector that's two pin, and then two of the 10 pin connectors. So now let's see it in operation and we'll go to the workbench and the PC and start up Rockrail. Okay, so here we are at the Rockwell at the PC and then also at the workbench we can see the Pico is up and running. We see the green LED flashing. When it's flashing at its when it's dimmer and flashing at a faster rate, that means it's not connect, connected into the server. So now we see it's flashing here and it's connecting in the server. It's ready to go. We can verify that by going into WIO, opening up the window, and we can see the query. It shows that it's ID 36. The version is 752. The type is an IO. The battery is 93%. Then the decibels for the Wi-Fi is at 62. Then we see the IP address. Then the manufacturer ID, which is the Pico W, and then we see the 16 I.O. ports, and they're configured as B for block detection. So let's close this out, and now we want to see the sensors themselves. We can go to control, then access the sensor monitor, and now we can see the WIO interface, we can see the node IDs and then the addresses 1 through 16. So let's go in and start an actual operation. So here at the bench, we've got everything set up and we have a loco off to the right. Let's bring, put it in reverse and now we're going to take it over the sensor. Here it's over the sensor we stop and then now we see that sensor 8 or address 8 is now triggered and it's at the high state. So let's continue on. Now the sensor goes to 0 and now we go over sensor 5. So now sensor 5 is high we continue and then now sensor 5 is now at 0. So we can change the direction, then come back. Or no, before we change the direction, then let's do one more thing. So now you can go and let's select this from the sensor monitor and let's drag and drop that sensor ID onto the plan. Then we go to address 8 and then drag and drop it. So let's close the monitor out and then now we're changing directions and now we can see that the sensor is updating on the panel itself so we can continue on then five idles up then eight triggers and then eight idles up so now you see the complete operations of the WIO you can see how easy it is to drag and drop the sensors onto your plan it you can see the updates everything pretty much works out um, and especially once again like I said you look at the cost there's six dollars for the Pi Pico from DigiKey and the setup uh, I can create or I can make another video on the controller itself and how I put that together and all the parts and the pieces so if you guys want just put in the comments if I get enough people that want to see it then I can build that and then you guys can see exactly how to build it and then start deploying them yourselves so hope you guys like the video please uh, like subscribe and share and we'll talk to you guys later